guys, chances are if you clicked on this video, you are debating on buying the Sony a7 III or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you my answer and that answer is definitely yes. The rest of this video is going to be me giving you my top five reasons on why you should buy this camera still in 2019 because it is the best hybrid camera under $2,000. What's up guys, my name is Garrett. Brujo. Blucher, and I'm a filmmaker and photographer out of Houston, Texas. And if this is your first time to my channel and you're interested about growing your passion and your profits through photo and video, then go ahead and start now by hitting that subscribe button. Now, let me preface this video by saying there are better cameras out there with better resolution, better frame rate capabilities, and better color depth bit rates. But I believe this is still the best hybrid camera for under $2,000, and this is my top five reasons why. Reason number one, and definitely most important in my opinion, is the autofocus that comes on the Sony a7 III. You can have the best camera possible. You could have an Ari, you could have a RED, you could have an anamorphic lens for all I care, but if your subject is not in focus, then you don't have a good shot. Now, I understand that you can rig up your camera, you can put a small rig cage on it, you can have all these fancy focuses and have one guy running focus and, and you are operating the camera. But if you're watching this video, that's most likely not the situation that you're in. You're probably gonna be a one-man show or a two-man show, but you have a second shooter and they're not able to actually sit there and pull focus on your camera. So in my opinion, the Sony autofocus is definitely the best on the market. If you're running gun shooting or you're just starting out on your own, I highly suggest this camera simply just for the autofocus. Now, I will say that Sony's autofocus is not perfect, but it's better than everybody else. As you can see in this example of me and my son, it does a phenomenal job of picking up our faces, whether we're turning away from the camera or towards the camera or picking up different faces in the same subject area, which in my line of work of weddings and portraits, you really only get one shot at the shot and then it's gone for forever. So if I miss being in focus on that one shot, well then it's gone. So I need the most reliable autofocus system possible or else I missed the shot and I didn't do my job. All right, reason number two is going to be the low light capabilities of this camera. Guys, I can't stress this enough. You are going to find yourself in a low light situation no matter what you film. Even if you completely control the lighting in a studio, you're gonna have some low light situations that you want to be able to be dramatic or you might just be stuck outside and the sun's going down. Either way, you're gonna get stuck in a low light situation and the low light capabilities of this camera are absolutely phenomenal. And when you do get stuck in those situations, it's so nice to be able to just crank up the ISO without really worrying about how much grain or noise you're gonna get in your footage. Now, I will say you can't just crank it up, but you can be confident around eight to 10,000 still without getting too much noise into your footage. So when all I have to do is crank my ISO up just a little bit, this camera makes its money every single time. Reason number three is this guy right here. The Sony Z style battery is a huge upgrade from the old Sony cameras that use the W style battery. It's about twice the size and it lasts about three times as long. For an entire eight hour shoot, all I really need is two of these guys and they last me about four hours of pretty continuous shooting. If you're having to constantly worry about how much battery your camera has, well, it's pretty hard to remain creative because you're just worried about if your camera's gonna die or not. So having these guys is a huge lifesaver. It allows me to remain creative and really not worry about a battery until I get a little flashing light. Before I bought the Sony a7 III, I was working off the Sony a6300, which worked on the old W style battery which was constantly running out of juice. If I wanted to shoot an eight hour event, I literally had to have 10 to 12 batteries and be charging the old batteries just in case the new batteries ran out of juice. You would only get about 35 to 40 minutes of constant recording at 4K resolution or in a higher frame rate. Thinking about whether your camera's gonna die the entire event really put a block in my creative space. So using the new Z style batteries with the Sony a7 III allows me to remain creative in the space that I need to be in rather than worrying about if my camera is gonna die. Reason number four is the Sony picture profiles. Now, when I first started, I really didn't see the importance of the different picture profiles, but 
I soon began to become accustomed to just shooting with actually no picture profile at all. And once I mastered that, then I felt comfortable trying some different picture profiles, which now I actually love using S-Log2 and HLG2, which S-Log2 is picture profile seven and HLG2 is picture profile number 10. I love those two picture profiles because they each have their place in different scenario. I love using S-Log2 when it's nice and bright and sunny outside and I have plenty of light to mess with. And when it's dark, I love using H-Log2 because I can still get a good amount of dynamic range out of a shot that doesn't need as much minimum ISO. Regardless, having the different picture profile options is really gonna set your films over the top and it's gonna give you that professional look that clients are looking for. And in my opinion, if you do it correctly, it's gonna make your films worth more money. All right, last but not least is the dual SD card slot. One of my biggest fears of being in this industry is losing people's footage. Especially being a wedding filmmaker, it would be absolutely devastating to tell a couple that, hey, sorry, uh, I lost your footage. So having two SD card slots and a processor that's fast enough to actually write to both SD card slots with minimum buffer time is absolutely amazing. Walking away from a day of filming a wedding with already a backup, know that you're somewhat safe. The dual SD card slots also come in handy when you're taking portraits or any other kind of photography. Not sure if you knew it, but the Sony a7 III can actually take 10 photos per second in uncompressed RAW. Even when you're writing to two SD card slots at the same time, there's still minimum buffer time. I mean, in less than like, five seconds, you can go back and review those photos that you just took. So knock on wood, I still haven't had an SD card fail me yet, but having the dual SD card slots to back up what I'm already shooting is a way to sleep at night. All right guys, those are my top five reasons on why you should buy the Sony a7 III still in 2019 because I think it's the best hybrid camera for under $2,000. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification, that way you're notified when I post more awesome videos just like this one. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.